ducks. The day before the last day of school, Mr. Tushman called me into his office to tell me they had found out the names of the seven creators from the nature retreat. He read off a bunch of names that didn't mean anything to me, and then he said the last name, Edward Johnson. I nodded. You recognize the name, he said. They called him Eddie. Right. Well, they found this in Edward's locker. He handed me what was left on my hearing aid headband. The right piece was completely gone and the left one was mangled. The band that connected the two, the lava part, was bent down the middle. Middle. His school wants to know if he wants to press charges, said Mr. Tushman. I looked at my hearing aid. No, I don't think so, I shrugged. I am being fitted for my new ones anyway. Hmm, why don't you talk about it with your parents tonight? I'll call your mom to tomorrow to talk about it with her too. Would they go to jail? I asked. No, not jail, but they'd probably go to juvie court and... Maybe they'll learn a lesson that way. Trust me, the Eddie kid is not learning any lessons, I joked. He sat down behind his desk. Augie, why don't you sit down a second, he said. I sat down. All the things on the desk were the same as when I first walked into his office last summer. The same mirrored cube and the same little globe floating in the air. They felt like ages ago. Hard to believe this year almost over, huh? He said, almost like he was reading my mind. Yeah. Has it been a good year for you, Augie? Has it been okay? Yeah. It's been good, I nodded. I know academically it's been a good year for you. You're one of the top students. Congrats on the high honor roll. Thanks. Yeah, that's cool. But I know it's hard. It's it's had its share ups and down of ups and down. He said, raising his eyebrows. Certainly, the night at the nature reserve was one of the low points. Yeah, I nodded. But it was also kind of good too. In what way? Well, you know how people stood up for me and stuff. That was pretty wonderful, he said, smiling. Yeah. I know in school things got a little hairy with Julian at times. I had to I have to admit he surprised me with that one. You know about the that stuff? I asked him. Middle school directors have a way of knowing about a lot of stuff. Do you have, like, secret security cameras in the hallways? I joked. And microphones everywhere. He laughed. No, seriously? He laughed it again. No, not seriously. Oh, but teachers know more than kids than Coggy. I wish you... And Jack had come to me about the, the mean notes that were left in your lockers. How do you know about that? I said, I'm telling you, middle school directors know all. It wasn't that that big a deal, I answered, and we wrote notes too. He smiled. I don't know if it's public yet, he said, though it'll be soon anyway, but Julian Albans is not coming back to Beecher Prep next year. What? I said. I honestly couldn't hide how surprised I was. His parents don't think Peter Prep is a good fit for him. Mr. Tushman continued raising his eyebrows, uh, raising his shoulders. Wow, that's big news, I said. Yeah, I thought you should know. Then suddenly I noticed that the pumpkin portrait that used to be behind his desk was gone and my drawing myself portrait as an animal that I drew for 
New Year art show was now framed and hanging behind his desk. Hey, that's mine, I pointed. Mr. Touchman turned around like he didn't know what I was talking about. Oh, that's right, he said, tapping his forehead. I've been meaning to show, show this to you for a month now. My self-portrait as a duck, I nodded. I love this piece, Augie, he said. When your art teacher showed it to me, I asked her if I could keep it for my wall. I hope that's okay with you. Oh, yeah, sure. What happened to the pumpkin portrait right behind you? Oh, yeah, nice. I've been meaning to ask you since I hung this up, he said, looking at it. Why did you choose to represent yourself as a duck? What do you mean? I answered. It, it was just, it was the assignment. That was the assignment. Yes, but why is duck? He said. It is safe to assume that it was because of a story of the, hmm, the duckling that turned into a swan. No, I laughed, shaking my head. It's because I think I look like a duck. Oh, said Mr. Tushman. His eyes opened wide. He started laughing. Really? Huh. Here I was looking for symbolism and metaphors and... Mm, sometimes it's, duck, it's just a duck. Yeah, I guess, I said, not quite getting why he thought that was so funny. He laughed to himself for a good 30 seconds. Anyway, Augie, thanks for chatting with me, he said, finally. I just want you to know it's truly a pleasure having you here at Beecher Prep, and I'm really looking forward to next year. He reached across the desk and we shook hands. See you tomorrow at the graduation. See you tomorrow, Mr. Tushman.